cable subjected to UDL. Here this one is the cable. Here I told that if the span is large, uh, stiffening girders are used and the load is considered as UDL over the entire span that is uniformly distributed from one end to another end the span of the cable is L and this one is the central dip here if you consider A as origin this one as X axis this one as Y axis and the distance is at any section the distance may be considered as X from the origin A this distance is X and this one is Y here let H be the central deflection central deflection of sag H be the central deflection or sag or dip then here by observing this diagram here these are the support reactions support reaction at A and support reaction at B already I told that the cables are sus subjected to tensile loads here these are tensile in nature here this one is HA and this one is HB by using the equilibrium equation that is HA equals HB equals H similarly here this one is the central portion central dip this one is A this one is B then by applying the equilibrium equation summation of f y equals 0 here the load is symmetrical therefore v a equals v v equals that is the total load is w per unit run into l half of that that is w l by 2 then to calculate the horizontal reaction that is h a and h b by taking moments of all the forces about c equals 0 only half portion either left half or second half that is h into h h a equals i told that h a equals h and h b is also equal to h by using the equilibrium equation horizontal equilibrium equation then h into h equals h into h equals that one is anti-clockwise moment and moment to to va that one is moment to to va that one is clockwise wl by 2 into l by 2 then moment to to the vertical rea vertical uh, reaction at a is wl by 2 into l by 2 that is clockwise and then moment to, to applied load that is minus the load in this portion is w into l by 2 into half of l by 2 half of l by 2 therefore the horizontal reaction at the support is w l square divided by 8 h wl square by 8h if yeah the shear at any section if the shear force if v is the shear at any section xx any section xx distance x from a distance x from a as shown in figure from a as shown in figure then that one T equals here the tension in the cable let T be the tension in cable tension in 
cable here we have already calculated v and we have calculated h a or h then t equals here at any distance as shown in figure here this one this one is a this one is v a this one is h here at a distance of x here at a distance of x v is the shear then this one is h this one is v then the tension in the cable t equals tension in the cable t equals root of the resultant of these two that is v square plus h square when the angle between the two forces is 90 degree this one is horizontal reaction this one is vertical reaction at distance of x this one is section xx this distance is x from a then t equals here by observing this v ma v maximum equals v maximum that is maximum sf or maximum reaction maximum sf at support that is either at a or b that is v maximum equals that one is w l by 2 at support at support therefore maximum tension in the cable t max equals that is root of s square plus v a square or v b square that one is w l square by w l by 8 h whole square plus w l by 2 whole square w l square by 2 v a equals then this one equals t max equals here w by l by 2 is common w l by 2 is common 1 plus l square divided by 16 s square this one is the maximum tension at the support usually the tension is maximum at the support let's see let's see no vertical shear vertical shear is zero vertical shear is zero then v minimum equals v minimum equals zero at c Hence, hence t minimum minimum tension minimum tension occurs at c that is 0 plus s square that one is h then at any point at any point since the cable resist since the cable cannot resist cannot resist shear it is subjected to tension only then now to find the shape to find the shape of the cable shape of the cable Consider, consider a portion on left side of section line
left side of section xx xx v equals here I, in the figure in the above figure v equals that is summation of h equals by equilibrium of by equilibrium by horizontal equilibrium summation of h equals 0 that give us that is t cos theta t cos theta this angle is theta that is t cos theta equals h then summation of v equals 0 that is t sin theta if you resolve the tensile force in cable into two components one along vertical direction one along horizontal direction here v a minus w x that one equals w l by 2 minus w x that one is the shear force at any section is that is wl by 2 minus wx then here by dividing 1 and 2 that is equation 2 by equation equation 2 by 1 that is tan theta equals tan theta equals that one is wl by 2 minus wx divided by substitute the value of that is 1 over h 1 over h that is we know that tan theta is nothing but tan theta equals dy by dx that equals wl by 2 minus wx 1 over h that is uh, studied in uh, deflection then here dy by dx equals by integrity integrate that is dy by dx equals tan theta equals wl by 2 minus wx into 1 over h that is here just now we have calculated this then integrating integrating this by integrating integrating y equals integration of wl by 2 is wl by 2 into x integration of wx is wx square by 2 1 over h that equals wx by 2 is common l minus x 1 over h substitute the value of h just now we have calculated substitute the value of h here the value of h is we have already calculated that is h equals to l square by 8h then y equals wx by 2 into l minus x into 8h
divided by W L square. Then here by simplification y equals 4hx divided by L square. Here by observing this, this is an equation of a parabola, which is a parabola. Which is a equation of a parabola. Hence the shape is shape of the cable is hence the shape of cable is a parabola. Then to find the length, to find the length of the cable in any curve, to find length of cable, In any curve, ds by dx To find the length of cable, to find the length of cable in any cable, in any curve, here by observing this, ds square equals root of dy square plus dx square or ds by dx equals 1 plus dy by dx whole square. Yeah, this is here yeah, we know that y equals 4hx into l minus x divided by L square then dy by dx equals 4h into Lx minus 2x for h differentiation of this one is 4h in the bracket L minus 2x divided by L square. Here by substituting this, that is, here by substituting this in the above equation, ds by dx equals ds by dx equals 1 plus 4h by L square into L minus 2x whole square. This is by binomial theorem. By binomial theorem. This one is approximately equal to 1 plus if we expand this star that one is 4h by L square into L minus 2x whole square that is 4h by L square into L minus 2x whole square that one is the solution for this equation here yeah, we are going to 
calculate the length of the cable length of cable is given by length of cable is given by by integrating l equals that is integration of ds that equals within the limits 0 to l here this one is the total length of the cable here we have considered only a small portion then to find that is 0 to l that one is here if we integrate this star that one is 0 to l 1 plus half of here by expanding this term that is 16 h square by l to the power of 4 inside of bracket l square minus 4lx plus 4x square dx then by integrating this term by integrating this term x plus 8 is square by l to the power of 4 inside the bracket by integration l square x minus 4 l x square by 2 minus plus 4 x cube by 3 by substituting the limits the upper and lower limit then yeah this one equals l plus 8h square divided by l to the power of 4 l cube minus 4l cube divided by 2 plus 4l cube by 3 then by substituting the lower limits that is 0 then this one equals l plus 8 a square by l inside the bracket here l cube is common l cube divided by l to the power of 4 is that is 1 minus 2 plus 4 by 3 then this one is here that one is l equals here after, after simplification this one becomes l plus 8 a square divided by 3 l this is the solution for the length of the cable